Good morning, day 147, and I am outside Highland Creek Hut. Today I am going to Rose's Hut, which is supposed is only 10 kilometers, but it's supposed to take six hours. And the reason being is there are two steep climbs. Each climb is about 400 meters in elevation, and then down 400 meters, and then up again 400 meters and down. So a lot of climbing, but I'm gonna take my time. I'm the last to leave. I really like taking my time in the morning <laughs> um, and I've got all day so I can't see the point of rushing. Um, okay all right well I will take you along for the trip. Okay bye for now. Leaving the hut and Rose's hut is in that direction and then I don't know if you can see but there is a path going up ultimately up there. But that's not the first full climb. That's just a little bit of a climb. And then we dip down and then we do the big climb. Anyway, gorgeous day. Bye bye hut. It's just there. And onwards. This is where the climbing starts, but I don't think you can see the steepness from this video, but the path goes up there. And it goes all the way to the top there. And that's just the first part of the climbing. That's just like the kind of taster. Okay, I've got over the first bump. <laughs> now it goes here, over those steps, and then it follows that bridge line up there. And I don't know where it continues after that, but we'll find out. I am now at the top of that rise I pointed out when I went over those steps. And this is the view. I'm not at the top yet though. There's still some more climbing to do. And from what I can see, the path continues up to there at least. And then I'm not sure where it goes after that. Okay. I've come from here. And that's a view on the other side. I am at the top of the first 400 meter climb for today and I'm going to show you where I'm at. Actually, I'm not at the top. I've just checked far out and I've still got about another 50 meters to go. So, but I'm still going to show you where I'm at because <laughs> it's pretty incredible. And it's hard to work out where the trail is going to still go up, but Anyway, it's going along there and then must, I don't know, dip down and go up somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'll find out, I guess. So, going down here, but it must just go up again somewhere. Okay. I can see the trail kind of cutting across here. That must just end up going over there somewhere. Okay. I now really am at the top of the first 400 meter climb. And it's taking me two hours to get here. I've come from this direction the view from up here is just incredible. And the trail now continues over another set of stairs. And there's a pole there. And it will, and another one across there. And I can see a bit of a pathway. And it may dip down on the other side, but I now go down 400 meters just so that I can come up again, another 400 meters. But just 
just look at that. I can't go over that. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> I'm going to sit on the steps, enjoy the view, and eat a piece of fruitcake. <laughs> and then I'll continue. Amazing day. Loving it. Loving it. Something I have been reflecting on whilst I've been having some more time by myself is I really wanted to say thank you to my husband Rob because when I first mentioned the TA he really wasn't keen at all and didn't really want to talk about it and it took him a long time to come round to the fact that I really wanted to do it and even when I first started doing this walk he wasn't super supportive <laughs> Um, but I have to say, as time has gone by, he has become my biggest champion. He is so supportive now, and um, I really appreciate that. So, Rob, I want to say thank you. And um, I know that he watches the videos. <laughs> and originally, he said he would probably wouldn't even be watching them, <laughs> but he does watch them. So, Rob, I just want to say I love you, thank you, and I appreciate you, and thank you for allowing me to do this. Although I think you know I would have done it anyway. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Rob. Okay, bye. Now the start of a 400 metre descent. Here we go. Well, going down certainly is easy. But with every metre I go down, I know there's going to be another hill that I'm going to have to come up. But enjoy this while it lasts. Still going down, but over there on that hillside, I can see a track zigzagging its way up. So I've got a feeling that once we go down, that's where we start climbing again. Okay, I'm nearly down and I would say almost certainly that that weavy path is right and then we have to go all the way to the top and over there. Okay, this is coming to the bottom of the first climb and I think what I'm going to do for the second climb is I'm going to try and go up for as long as I can and get at least a chunk of it done so that psychologically when I stop to have my lunch I feel like I've broken the halfway mark at the very least yes so I think that's what I'm gonna do okay ah it looks like the track goes up there oh it's steep <laughs> by way of explanation I've come down from up here and come all the way down here and then gone through the forest a little bit, come out the other side and now coming across here and I want to go up over this first mound before I have my lunch break. stopping here for lunch and after lunch the trail continues along there and up there and I've just checked the app and I am almost halfway up the second climb so I am gonna take my time over lunch and have a nice long break okay I'm having English muffin and sardines <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> okay, lunch done and the climb continues. I am at the top of the second climb and it was so much easier than the first climb. And in the distance you can see Lake Wanaka. I think I called it Lake Tekapo yesterday. No, it's not, it's Lake Wanaka. And I've come from this direction and oh, I'm just sitting down having a break, celebrating the fact I've got to the top 
and um, the path continues down there. So it was easy to say good one. Happy days. I'm walking down now and look at that valley. It runs all the way from there, all the way down. I'm not going in that direction. I'm pretty sure that when I go down, it's more back that way. Okay, it's about three kilometers to the hut and it's all down from here. We are walking down to that stream that is down there and I'm happy about that because I've only got about 300 mils of water left and I'm getting a bit thirsty. So I'll definitely be collecting some water, even though I'm pretty close to the hut. I can see the hut. It's nestled in there. Getting closer to the hut, but it's still quite hard to see it. It's just there, there, just to the right of us. I've come down from there and then now it's on four wheel track and the hut you can just see the roof over there getting closer <laughs> this is like deja vu all over again <laughs> Rose's hut how are you, Erin? Very well. Good. How are you? Good. Can you see that? It's the moon. That looks really impressive. Maybe it has to get a little bit darker. Well, with that view, I'd say good night come out to look at the moon and Charlie and Lucy are here from Wanganui. <laughs> we were the one who was hopping over those boats. <laughs> <laughs> We've run into each other again. <laughs>